Dragon Ball Sparking Zero from a consumer's perspective. Sparking Zero will be releasing another month from now, and over the course of a year and a half, they've shown tons and tons of characters, gameplay, and features coming to the game, which is all very exciting to see. As you've read from the title, this video will be from a consumer's perspective. Obviously, you can see that I'm a quote unquote content creator, no matter how bad I may be at it. However, I will be casting all my shilling aside and just speak as someone who is looking forward to buying this game and playing it. Right off the bat, I can say that as a general customer, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a game that I would be willing to spend my money on. And I hate to bring this game up, in my reactions to Naruto Storm Connections pre-release, I said something along the lines of the game not having that much to offer and I'm only buying the game simply because I plan to create content on it. That was the main reason. Pretty much I would have passed if I didn't have a YouTube channel. But it's not the same with Sparking Zero. I could give myself a variety of reasons that would justify purchasing the game. Not only is this game essentially a successor to the 2000 gaming series that we all know and love, a relic of my childhood, but it is clear that a lot of effort is being put into it as it also introduces a plethora of new modes with a lot of options to play around with. You have online mode, ranked battles, tournament modes, story modes that introduce what if scenarios and my favourite one of them all, the custom level creation mode. From this list of modes alone, you can tell that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is trying to cater to as many customers as possible. I'ma be real guys, as cool as it looks, the gameplay of Sparking Zero seems like it's going to have a lot of issues with broken and abusable things. You can tell that it's far from perfect in this aspect. But I don't care, because that is not the part of the game that truly appeals to me. It is not what makes me want to become a customer. It's not what hooks me, rakes me in. Will I play online? Of course. Will I strive to get better? Of course. And also rage when I lose? Of course. But like I alluded to earlier, I'm most excited for the custom level mode. So this game could still end up being perfect. Not in general, but personally for me. Now if the custom mode turns out to be a sham, it would definitely be my 13th reason why, but there's no point in thinking negatively like that. As someone who was a massive Little Big Planet fan, the custom mode accounts for at least 70% of the appeal that makes me want to buy this game. Again, I want to appreciate the fact that Spike seems like they're trying to cater to numerous type of consumers. I am sure there are people who are in the same boat as me, they don't really care about playing online, they just want to play maybe the story mode the what if scenarios or custom mode battles. And it is very rare to see an anime game try to generate such an ambitious and widespread appeal like Sparking Zero is doing. For the most part, a lot of anime games, they just have a story mode that is poorly done and then a versus mode where people can clash fist with each other. That's usually all they have with DLC sprinkled here and there. This game is offering consumers the ability to be creative and let their minds, bodies and souls run free like Eren Yeager. Also share their creations with other people to play and probably rate. They recently confirmed spectators mode which shows that they are also encouraging proper community building and interactions for this game. Gone to the back of your head, name at least 5 anime games released in the past decade that encourage community building. You're dead! And that is yet another reason why, as a general consumer, I'd be willing to purchase Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I haven't even mentioned the fact that this game is leaking further into the Dragon Ball Super series as characters such as God Gogeta and others from the Tournament of Power are in the game, and even a mode for that arc alone which I'm actually very excited for. Now, I don't know if the story mode will go into Tournament of Power, but if it does, sensational. You know, it's so funny because even though I'm a quote unquote content creator, a majority of the reasons that I have for purchasing this game doesn't revolve around that at all. Like this is a game I would buy whether or not I had a YouTube channel. And the biggest, most important factor for that is because I think Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is going to be fun. The way I'm looking at it, I feel as though I could get addicted to this game and even put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it without even knowing that I did. 
somebody might flame me for this but the last game I ever truly got addicted to was Overwatch and that was back in 2019. Since then no other game has been able to hook me the way that one did. Sparking Zero might actually change that. Anyways enough talking i'm gonna end it there i didn't really have any intentions of making this video to be super long hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to comment down your personal reason as to why you're buying sparking zero and now i shall ride off into the sunset with ultimate gohan